What's all this about? Nothing. You better not be messing Carla around. What? Listen, mate, you sort your own relationship out before you start lecturing me, all right? You what? Do you think Jenny was happy running this place while you were swanning around in France? What's it swanning around? Well... Abby! Abby! Abby, just listen. Running away from things doesn't make them disappear, OK? Did you get that from a meeting, did you? Yeah, I did. You're not wired up right. You throw me stuff down the drain and you, you follow me home. Well, what are you planning on doing, stalking me 24-7? Yeah, if that's what it takes to stop you going out and scoring, yeah. Scoring? All right, whatever you want to call it, Abby, you're an addict, OK? You need help. There's a meeting tomorrow, why don't you come? It's not just alcohol, it's all addictions. Why would I? Because I know you're already thinking you want me out so you can go and score. Only me! Tell me I'm wrong. Oh, oh hello. Hi. Our Kev gave us a key. Right. I've got a bit of business to sort, and he said it's OK for me to stay. <laughs> Everything all right? Yeah. Yeah, I, I popped out for some fresh air and, and a, a bit of a funny turn, but luckily Pete was on hand, so... Yeah, happy to help. <clears throat> Right, nice to see you. I'll, uh, I'll leave you to it. Oh. All right, no problem. OK. All right, bye. Everything all right? Yeah, yeah, everything's fine. That was Kev, uh, about the car keys. I forgot to pick them up yesterday, you know, with everything that was going on. Yeah, they're kicking off again, then. Just a bit. Where are you off now? Well, I'm going to get my car keys, love. You don't have to do it now, do you? Uh, well, it's better to be safe than sorry, isn't it? What if, uh, what if there's an emergency or something? Oh, it's always glass half empty with you, isn't it? Well, it's my old Cub Scout training. Be prepared. You got chucked out of the Cub Scouts for fighting. Yes, I did. Should have been more prepared for that, shouldn't I? <laughs> right. Won't be long. Mm. Sorry, I shouldn't no, have called you. No, it's fine. I just wanted to say it. Sorry, really. You know, there's nothing for you to worry about. I'm fine, honest. So, well, just no, stop it's good. If you're anything. fine, then, you know, there's no reason you can't come to a meeting, is there? No, I know that. And I've been to them before. Children's services made me go. It's just, it's yeah, but a nobody's really making nice you go this time, right? It's your choice. Yeah, I get it. I do. And to be totally straight with you, I, just, I can't have Kev finding out about the morphine and that. Well, have you tried talking to him about it? Nah, he did run a flaming mile. That might be more supportive than you think. Yeah, and he might put his son's well-being before mine. Look, I've got to go before he gets what, back from him. What about the meeting? Well, I'll have a think about it. Great. Listen, if, if you think you're going to fall off the wagon, you call me. I mean it, right? Any time, day or night. I mean it. Jenny, all right? Uh, we've been better. We've been worse, but, you know, we'll sort it out. Touch wood. Do you want a brew? No, I'm, uh, I'm man in the bar. I thought Ram was on duty. I sent him off to be with Alia. She's in pits about. He has me in Zop. Mm. Anyway, here you are. Keys. Oh, keys of Weatherfield? <laughs> no, they're for Peter's car. Kevin dropped them off. Kevin did? Yeah. All right. Hello. Hey. Get your keys off Kev, all right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> You've only got one set for that car, haven't you? What's this? 20 questions. Oh, just, it's funny, you know, Kev dropped those off. Oh. 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 So, where have you really been? Nowhere. You've been drinking? No. Then who have you been to see? No one. Happy? Johnny told you. Johnny told me what? He told you he saw us together and he thought there was something going on. No, he did no such thing, but is there? Not like that, no. Not like that? Then like, like what? I can't tell you, love. 
You can't tell me. No, she asked me to... I promise not to say anything. I don't want to betray her trust. I can't. Fine. Where are you going? Well, if you're not going to tell me, I'm going to drag it out of Abby. Oh, no, no. All right, just... She's struggling with her addiction. She, she nicked some morphine from the hospital and... She said she needed something, you know, after the accident at the garage. Only she didn't get a chance to take it because I got it and I poured it down the drain. OK? OK. So? So... Now, I'm going to ask one of the most obvious questions in the world. Why, why is this your problem and not Kevin's? Well, Kev doesn't know, love. She don't want him to know. I'm trying to get her to go to a meeting with me at the moment, you know, so I can get her back on the right track. And you think this is a good idea? Yeah, she needs help, love. Yes, but help from you. I mean, it wasn't that long ago she was flipping a lid over you. She's with Kev now. And you're with me? Of course. Look, love, this is just about Abby's addiction and me helping her, all right? So nothing else, OK? You know what it's like. You've been there. Yes, I've been there and you helped me. And I fell for you. What? what makes you think Abby's going to be any different? Oh, she's not made of wood. I mean, I am irresistible. I do know that. I am serious, Peter. I know. I promise you, you've got nothing to worry about on that score, OK? You know this addiction group you go to? Yeah. I mean, do you get rewards for bringing new recruits or something? Because you should do. You should get a cuddly tie or a tease made, doesn't it? Mm. You're not funny. Although that would be addictive, wouldn't it? That's funny. Peter, just be careful, OK? You can't just go around mending every bird that you find with a, with a broken wing. I know, I know that. And Abby has had a crush on you. And she's vulnerable. And if you start helping her, then... Who is it? And so it begins. Go on, do what you have to. Hey. Hiya, sorry. No, no, no. no I, I just wanted to, I just wanted to say this meeting ain't for me. Sitting in some church hall with a load of old owl kids. No offense. No, no. No offense, Tate. I just, it's just not my scene. Would it help if I told you there's as much tea as you can drink and plenty of biscuits and not just the ginger ones? <laughs> Jockey? Oh, yeah, loads of them. And you know the little, little round biscuits with the smiley faces? Oh, no, they're triggering for me. The whole smiley face thing, you know. Uh, look, seriously, though, thanks, but I'm, 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 I'm going to give it a miss. Yeah, OK. Well, listen, it's, it's a lot easier just to go out and get high, isn't it? But, you know, this is the harder option, this. You've got to face up to things. And I also know that you're better than this and that you want to be sorted for yourself and for everybody else around you. I mean, I can, I can take you if you want. I mean, I can... I'll pick you no. up and... I mean, no, if I, if I decide to do it, I've got to do it under my own steam. Yeah, OK, well, it's got to be your choice. You know, every, everything's your choice. You know, you're the one who's going to have to make the next step, and if you do, I'll be there to help you. I promise you that, OK? OK, I'll, I'll do it. Abbe? I've, I've got to go. Abbe? OK, listen, A. Hey, I'm proud of you, OK? I'm proud of you. Thank you. Anytime. <sighs> I know what I'm doing, love. 